Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Isaac Dorman with Unlocking the Keys. If this is your first time here, I review productivity and lifestyle software to help you be more intentional with your digital time. Also to boost productivity and help with efficiency in everything that you do. Today, we are going to compare two note takers that I consider to be some of the best on the market, Obsidian and Bear. Now, Obsidian would be classified as a personal knowledge management app or PKM app for short. It is mainly competed with apps such as Roam Research and Notion, but Bear is slowly but surely working its way into the same space. Bear has and is making some big moves to push it into the same PKM category. In this video, we will compare the two apps in four different categories and see how each stacks up. The most important categories, in my opinion, are design, cross-platform compatibility, advanced features, and ease of use. Alright, let's jump right into design. Starting with Bear, the design really is the highlight of the app. Bear is beautiful and makes the whole experience of working in the app enjoyable. You have three tiers, your tag pane on the left, list of notes in the middle, and currently open or editing on the right. The tag system works well for organizing all of your notes and navigating the app is a pleasant experience to say the least. There are also many different themes to choose from so that the app can constantly be refreshed. I'm going to give Bear 5 stars on design as I really do think this is one of the most appealing apps on the App Store. Over in Obsidian, they feature a folder organization system on the left, with the currently editing note in the section to the right of that. As far as the aesthetic goes, Obsidian has some core themes to choose from, as well as many different community themes. Also, if you want to go really deep, you can customize the CSS and actually create your own theme. Other than that, the app feels a bit more concise and organized, like a file management app, than a pretty writing app, so it's not quite as good to look at as Bear. I'll give Obsidian 4 stars in this area as it's good, but it's not the most pleasing app out there. Moving on to the next category, which is cross-platform compatibility, where both apps do a pretty decent job, but it's hard to grade. Cross-platform could mean many things, whether it's Apple to Android, or Mac to iPad to iOS or something else. Bear does a great job thriving in the Apple ecosystem, but outside of that, they have no answer. They are Apple only, but do have support for Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch, filling all needs within the ecosystem. I'm going to give Bear 3.5 stars here, as if you're an Apple user, that's amazing, but if not, then the app is out of the question. Obsidian offers cross-platform compatibility between all operating systems, which is already a huge plus for the app. When it comes to the Apple ecosystem, they have an amazing Mac app, and then a very good mobile companion for both iPad and iOS. The mobile version was just recently released, and I did a review and tutorial on that as well. I'll leave the link to that video in the description, as well as at the end of this one. In the end, I'm going to give Obsidian 4.5 stars in the cross-platform section, as they are very close, but the lack of an Apple Watch app is the only downside. The next category is Advanced Features. Both of these apps have some, but neither is perfect. Bear has a few, but definitely not as many as I would like. They have a nice toolbar on the bottom, which is perhaps the best feature for quickly adding to a note. Besides that, they also have wiki links for even more connection in your notes, and the tagging system works well for organization. For a note-taking app that's pushing into the PKM space, they are missing some major features, but at the end of the video, I'll talk about their plan going forward and how they're going to make some big moves to push into that space. As of right now, however, I will give them 3 stars on the advanced features. Obsidian, on the other hand, thrives in the advanced features. I personally believe that this app has one of the most advanced features on the market, competing with Notion for the title of Best PKM App. Where to even begin is the question. You can organize through tags, folders, and linking of notes. The graph view is one of the most popular features as it really puts your notes in perspective and helps you to see all of the connections. The mobile app also has a toolbar that rivals that of Bear, and it's customizable, which is another huge plus. In addition, you have the community plugins, which means that features can be added outside of the developer's schedule. This, and being able to customize themes and layouts with the CSS, make this app extremely powerful. I'm going to give Obsidian 5 stars here without a question. The final category is ease of use. This is definitely an important category, as efficiency is one of the main things that we stress here on this channel. Bear is great in this category. You can create a note with a simple click of the button anywhere in the app except actively editing a note, which is perfect. Creating a note from the Apple Watch app is also nice as the transcription is phenomenal. There is also a keyword search button at the top which works very well for quick location of a note. I'll give Bear 4.5 stars in ease of use as the app really is smooth and easy to navigate. Obsidian is also good in this category, but it's a bit of an overwhelming app until you get a feel for it. All of the drop down menus and command keys can be confusing until you learn them. Also, the app has so many features that can be a bit exhausting just trying to figure out where to begin. However, once you learn the system, Obsidian is faster with all of the command keys. A few of the most important ones for navigating the app are Command F for searching in the current file, Command Shift F 
for searching all files, and Command-O for switching between notes. Once you get those three basic keys down, you'll be set and able to navigate the app even quicker than in there. Because of these great shortcuts and phenomenal organization, I'm going to give Obsidian 5 stars here as well. Looking at the future of each app, Obsidian is in a great position as they have a new mobile app that is still being perfected. Also, with the community plugins, the app has great potential moving forward for new features outside of the normal release schedule. The things that I would like to see going forward to complete the app would be Apple Watch support, easier way to indent text, which I'll talk about in another video, and then integration of Apple Calendar and Reminders so that you can see both inside the app. Perhaps in the Daily Note feature, I'm not really sure. Bear also has a promising future going forward thanks to the upcoming release of their Panda Editor. This will renovate the app completely and make it perhaps the most beautiful and well-equipped writing app to say the least. I'm currently working on a review and first look for the new app as I'm a beta tester, and I'll link that one in the description and at the end of the video when I finish it. Alright, looking at the final scores in the comparison, both did well, but here are the finals for each category as well as which one I would deem the winner. For the overall score, I'm going to give Bear 4 stars as it's close but not ideal, and I'll give Obsidian 5 stars, making it the winner, despite missing those features that I talked about earlier. Alright, well that's it for now. I'll also leave the download links to both Obsidian and Bear in the description, as well as those other videos and some of the tech that I use for work and study. Thank you all for watching and subscribe if you've come to this point and want to see more reviews like this. Also, leave a like if this content helped and you want to support the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Isaac, out.